Welcome to How to Rock Spirits Sun Moon Alchemy series. This audio was compiled and recorded by Dustin Cormier, a Leo Ascendant Scorpio with Sagittarius Moon, born in the year of the Metal Ram. All the possible Western Sun and Moon sign combinations can be found and learned about here. This information is for educational purposes only. I do not own any of the following content. For more astrology lectures and my own Cosmic Consciousness audio lecture series, check out How to Rock Spirits YouTube channel, where I rap about everything from philosophy and transpersonal psychology, to psychedelic spirituality, to tantric and occult mysticism, and even to Marx and Engels and the materialist sciences. See you there! Sun in an Earth Sign Basically motivated by material needs and practicality. Recharges energy through working with the physical world, being productive, and feeding the senses. The Sun in the Signs, Interpretive Guidelines. Sun in Capricorn. Creative energy colored by self-control, caution, traditionalism. Essentially values hard work, authority, and achievement. Needs to work single-mindedly and with discipline toward well-defined goals in order to fully express self. Level of vitality is affected and sense of individuality is developed by one's ability to assume responsibility. Flow of creative expression can be frozen by pessimism, a cynical attitude, or too much concern with respectability and appearances. The moon sign and its element. These notes are also still from Stephen Arroyo's Chart Interpretation Handbook. The element of the moon's sign represents an attunement from the past that manifests automatically, a mode of feeling and being that one needs to be aware of in order to feel inwardly secure and at home with oneself. This element and experiences related to it feed your need to feel right about yourself. This element and experiences related to it feed your need to feel right about yourself. By such modes of self-expression, you are satisfying a deep inner need that can give stability to your entire personality. The moon's element also shows how you react instinctively to all experiences, with what energy you spontaneously adjust yourself to the flow of life. Moon in fire signs reacts to changing experiences with direct action and enthusiasm. Feels comfortable when expressing confidence and strength. Sign position of the moon. How one reacts based on subconscious predisposition. Moon in Sagittarius. Reacts enthusiastically and idealistically based on beliefs and philosophy. Inner contentment felt when aspiring toward or promoting one's ideals or when progressing toward one's future goals. Subconscious predisposition to question, to search for meaning, an innate, broad-minded, tolerant, buoyant attitude toward life. Feels comfortable when exploring, traveling, being outdoors, and loves a sense of freedom. Orientation toward emotional beliefs can lead to gullibility, arrogance, fanaticism, or a pretentious preachiness. The following information comes from Isabel Hickey's Astrology, a Cosmic Science. Copyright 1992 by Isabel M. Hickey Trust. Moon in Sagittarius. Wants to feel free to roam. Restless and lacking in continuity. Needs fixed signs to anchor them. Philosophical. Friendly and optimistic. Wants to help others but forgets. If afflicted to Jupiter, too extravagant. Faults are those of overdoing, not underdoing. Keen love of sports if aspected to Mars. The gamblers of life. Not apt to have many close friends, but many acquaintances. A feeling for religious philosophy, but not dogma and creed. Loves to roam. Needs to learn to think before speaking. In a male chart, will attract a freedom-loving female. Direct and talkative. Sun, Moon, Alchemy the elemental combinations of the sun sign and the moon sign. The following information comes from Charles and Susie Harvey's Sun Sign Moon Sign. Copyright Charles and Susie Harvey, 1994, again in 2003. First published by Aquarian, 1994. Each sun moon type is a combination of elements. In the following descriptions of the element combinations, please remember that the pairing can be either way around. For example, a fire-earth combination refers equally to sun-fire-moon-earth, 
as it does to sun, earth, moon, fire. There will be subtle differences, but the dynamic is generally the same. Fire-Earth Combinations The fire-sun-earth-moon type is a strong, compelling personality. We can see this as the volcano pouring forth lava, which will eventually become new, fertile lands. This individual can deal with molten metal like the blacksmith or the engineer shaping raw material into serviceable tools. Here is the practical enthusiast, the doer who can also enthuse others to action. This combination has been called the bulldozer, for he has tremendous weight and drive to push ahead in exactly the direction they want. J. Pierre Point Morgan, or J.P. Morgan, who is a sun in Aries with moon in Virgo, the American industrialist, typified this combination well when he said, I don't want a lawyer to tell me what I cannot do. I hire him to tell me how to do what I want to do. Likewise, the Earth-Sun-Fire-Moon combination is also the practical visionary who consciously keeps his feet on the ground but has the instinct to go for the main chance, to know when to risk and to pull rabbits out of hats when least expected. This individual could be the hard-headed, pragmatic entrepreneur who sees future opportunities and can seize them with confidence and know-how, turning them into solid and often lucrative realities in the present. Earth fire types may possess a raucous sense of humor, a pronounced sensuality, and a real penchant for the good life, as can be seen in the life of Alexander Wolcott, sun in Capricorn, moon in Sagittarius, the American drama critic and wit, who said, while surveying an elegant country estate, just what God would have done if he had the money. Either way, with this fire-earth combination, there's a strong, practical, rational bias coupled with a powerful intuition and a compelling need for freedom and power. When the positive interaction between fire and earth is not working, this person can become very tense, swinging between a burning, intuitive faith and a down-in-the-dumps inertia and doubting Thomas skepticism. Shadow Side People with fire-earth combinations tend to have enormous conviction and certitude about themselves and their beliefs. As a result, they can suffer from the defects of their virtues and become fixed, dictatorial, and insensitive to others and to the subtler nuances of human relationships. Whether it is fire, sun, earth, moon, or earth, sun, fire, moon, this combination produces a powerful ego which can easily run the show in any relationship. When the urge to dominate meets with resistance, they can become baffled and frustrated until they begin to respect the rights and needs of others. Relationships. Fire Earth may find its own type attractive, but can enter into very creative and complementary relationships with air-water types, who can both fan the flames and water the garden. Often a benevolent dictator in relationships and in the home, this type nevertheless is usually a very committed mate, tending to show his romantic feelings through actions. Their stubbornness can, however, sometimes block domestic harmony and get in the way of intimacy. Male versus female. This is a good combination for people in politics and managerial positions who must make high-powered decisions and push through policies and procedures. Indeed, these individuals can be quite pushy and competitive, qualities the Western world feels are more acceptable in males. The female of this type is authoritative and pragmatic and is unlikely to waste time over failures or adverse reactions to her independence. Both males and females tend to have substantial ambition and terrific stamina. The following observations about your sun-moon combination are drawn from insights gained from astrologer Jefferson Anderson's book, Sun Sign Moon Sign, an observation of many different individuals. The writing itself comes from Mantak Chia and William Yu Wei's Cosmic Astrology, copyright 2012 by North Star Trust, published by Destiny Books. Sun in Capricorn, Moon in Sagittarius. Carefree. Although you are subject to intermittent periods of depression and sadness, you never lose your basic sense of humor. Your witty, casual comments always hit the target. You are probably the most balanced of any of the Sun-Moon combinations. You have a wide range of activities and projects. Your profession has to be inside an organized and conventional structure like most Capricorns, but your Sagittarian inner aspect desires adventure and excitement. The Sagittarius part of you is liberal, creative, and freedom-loving, while your Capricorn is resolute, 
determined, and somewhat distant. You have both the resolve and the intelligence to achieve a great deal, and you set long-term goals for yourself. Your allure and casual manner enthrall people. You are much less reserved and much more sociable than other Capricorns. You also enjoy having a good time, but are a serious and goal-oriented individual. You appear removed, but it does not require much to bring out your ironic smile. It is critical that your job be fulfilling as well as enhance your prestige, because you are very aware of social standing. You must have the liberty to do what you want to, because you value your personal freedom. Never happy unless you are the boss. Your willpower and intelligence typically take you right to the pinnacle. Your mind is rational, well-organized, and sensible, but insight is one of your utmost gifts. You go through impulsive and across-the-board moods, as do all Moon and Sagittarius people. You can quickly become an impetuous and adventurous drifter right after being serious and determined for a while. There are times when your moods and visions carry you away and induce you to forget your plans. To direct some of that impatience and inquisitiveness, you need a lot of distraction and external activity. Your need to travel is virtually a requirement for your emotional stability. You respect tradition while you try to see tomorrow's needs, and thus you are the perfect long-term planner. You have a learned and philosophical aura. Perhaps while young, you were troubled and had it difficult, but you still acquired a strong intellectual curiosity. You love to experiment with theoretical concepts and analysis. Thus, philosophy attracts you because you want to find truth and a perfect structure with which to manage your life. You would never partake of callous behavior in your search for status and esteem because you are very ethical. Notes from Charles and Susie Harvey's Sun Sign Moon Sign Quote, All the things I like to do are either immoral, illegal, or fattening. Alexander Wolcott, fellow native Sun and Capricorn, Moon and Sagittarius. Your greatest strengths. The range of your intellectual abilities. Sense of responsibility and integrity. Spontaneous understanding of the larger implications of different attitudes and situations. Ambition and love of exploration. Ironic sense of humor. Your greatest weaknesses. Verbosity and occasional pomposity. Tendency to exhibit intellectual pretension when you are actually feeling insecure. To waste energy in a nervous seeking of new pastures. To get fixated on narrow views that become rigidly moralistic. Images for integration. In his spare time, a high court judge takes up the serious hobby of gambling and horse races. A bank clerk plans a world cruise.